you're teaching someone body contact and we never see this and it's probably the most important part about keeping kids safe is teaching them how to manipulate the person that's trying to check them manipulate their feet. We always teach our kids to get up against the boards and take the contact against the boards. And, and I think that there's that's only part of it. That's a small, small piece of, of taking body contact. The biggest part about taking body contact is the ability to control the defender's skates. So I'll show you what I mean. If I'm going to take contact, the first thing I got to do is I don't want to allow the defender to have his feet square so that he can skate in a straight line to get me. So even if I'm moving up the boards, he can pick the angle and he can just cut off the angle to get the contact and I'm still no further ahead. What I want to be able to do is control his feet. And the way I'm going to control his feet is I'm going to come off the boards this way. So as he's coming, I come off the boards. Now, as soon as I come off the boards, what I've done is I've turned his feet to face this way. Well, he can't hit me now because his feet are facing this way. I've also created a trap door for myself. So once I have his feet turned, it allows me then to turn into this space. So not only do I not get in contact, but I've controlled the defender's feet. I took him from a position where he can skate in a straight line and find an angle to a place where it's awkward for him and uncomfortable for him to be able to make the contact. If, if I'm really good, I should be able to put his feet in such a position he cannot hit me. The other point to body contact that we never hear of is how to make the target bigger or smaller. When you're trying to make the contact, you want to make the target as big as possible and when you're taking the contact you want to be as small as possible so how do you make yourself big and how do you make yourself small what's the difference so the first thing that we want to do is when the attacker is here okay what, what happens is, is that as he's as he's coming in come over just a little bit right there when I'm here and I'm standing still I am a big target because the, defend, the defender is able to ski and he's able to come at me in a straight line, which allows, and I have no movement. When I have no movement, I become very big, very easy target. The other way in which I become big is if I allow this guy to pick up the proper angle. So as I'm moving, if he has right angles, he can hit me down, 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 all the way through. So he, his range of contact goes from here all the way over there and he can hit me at any point in time. That's for his perspective, that's expanding the hit zone. And for me, I want to reduce the hit zone as much as possible so that I don't get, I don't, I make it hard for him. So there's two ways in which you can do it. One is to control how big the hit zone is. One is you move in quick movements. So you're not you're always changing speed. So it's difficult for the attacker to pick up the right angle. I'm going fast, I'm going slow, I'm going fast, I'm going slow. That's one way. And the other way that I can control it is by turning his skates. So similar to the last concept where instead of standing here like this, I might move this way to encourage him to turn his skates this way. So that now when I escape, I've messed up the angle for him, which then makes me incredibly small to hit.